For Yulia Skripal, it has been a life-changing five weeks. Visiting from her home in Russia, attacked by a nerve agent in Salisbury, and left unconscious in hospital. Today, after encouraging reports about her being able to talk, came news that many had never expected would happen. We have now discharged Yulia from Salisbury District Hospital. It was on March the 4th that Yulia and her father, Sergei, left his home in Salisbury. His front door would later be found to have the biggest concentration of nerve agent on it. Some three hours later, the two of them were found convulsing on a bench in Salisbury city centre. When nerve agent was implicated and Russia put forward as front and centre of the government suspects, the Russians have denied any involvement in the Skripal case, calling it a fake story. And in a puzzling tweet, their embassy in London said today, we congratulate Yulia Skripal on her recovery, yet we need urgent proof that what is being done to her is done on her own free will. They've already said they would like to talk to her as she's a Russian citizen, but it's not clear where she's been taken, so it's unlikely they'll get immediate access. Her father, Sergei, is also expected to leave hospital in due course, and it's likely he'll also be taken to a secure location to continue his recovery and for both of them to make long-term plans for their futures. Duncan Kennedy, BBC News, for CBS News, Salisbury, England.